Hello, it's Ben Cooper here again from Gems Wellness and Arkell, and today I'm going to talk to you about key questions. What are they and how do we use them? And most importantly, how does it impact the learning of our children here at WEC? So most schools start off lessons with either a learning objective or a WALT. Learning objective is basically an instruction of what to learn. Children in other schools may be introduced to a learning objective that states we are learning about full stops or we are learning to use full stops or we are using to multiply by three. And so a learning objective shares exactly what the children are going to learn. A WALT is exactly the same. WALT stands for we are learning to and again it will state exactly what the children are going to learn. But here at WEC we want to take that a little bit further. We don't want to give instructions and specify exactly what the children are going to learn. We want the children to discover that for themselves. And we also don't want learning to be so closed so they're just learning about one specific thing. Mastery and 21st century learning is all about using and applying. So we don't want the children to just learn about one specific thing. We want them to learn about lots of things and link connections between things. So to take things a little bit further, we introduce lessons with a key question. They're open-ended and so that makes the children think. So rather than we are learning to use full stops, you might ask the question, what impact do full stops have in writing? That question then allows the children to not just understand how to use the full stops, but it takes them further in thinking about the impact that those full stops have. Short sentences with full stops can build suspense or can add speed and pace to a piece of writing. Long sentences and paragraphs without many use of full stops can actually add a bit more suspense and are also great for when describing calm scenery and settings. So a key question allows the children not just to understand what they're learning about, but also to start discussions and sharing what they already know about the subject. So we're changing something from being very prescriptive into something that's far more open-ended and theoretical. It also links to our wet learner profile where we want our children to be critical thinkers. And of course, if you ask a question, the children are automatically starting to become critical thinkers. And so it's really important that we start every lesson with a key question rather than an instruction of what they're going to learn to support how we want our children to be as learners. So that's the key question explained. I hope that gives you a little bit of more information at home. Why don't you try asking your children key questions when you're out at the weekend? Something that's going to start a discussion between you and your child to support their learning. Have a really good day.